Welcome back to my kitchen. During the month of August, beta or vlogist or vlog every day in August, whatever we're calling it this time, one of the things I really wanted to share with you was my meal planning process. I'm talking about it in the past tense. Hmm, what's that? I really haven't quit meal planning. I've been struggling to find the motivation to sit down and go through the process that I usually go through for meal planning. So what I wanted to show you that has worked in the past for me, it may work again sometime soon in the future, this kind of elaborate process of scheduling rotations of meals so that you're not reinventing the wheel all the time, which is great, but you don't have that like every Tuesday, we have the exact same thing. And I used to have this system that was working really well and I just haven't been able to find the motivation to sit down and do the whole process. That's one thing that I realized is that the times in the past when I've gone through the whole scheduling process, which really does take me, could be several hours. I've always done that when I was in one way or another captive, waiting somewhere for my daughter doing some music thing, which is pretty much the story of my life. But when I've had big chunks of time when I knew I was going to be away from home and I wanted to be productive, so I actually set myself up to do this whole process, worked out a really neat process last summer at an Airbnb in Chatham, New York, while I was waiting to go hang out with my daughter while she was at her summer music program. And I came up with this way of scheduling the rotations in Google Calendar, and that was really great. And I will do it again, and I will show you. But this time, that just felt really heavy and cumbersome. And I think mostly what's feeling really heavy and cumbersome to me right now is that I have relied a lot on freezer meals. And during the school year, freezer meals are great. It feels like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad to have this meal all ready to go and not to have to figure out what I'm doing and run around. They're great, and I imagine I will go back to them. Through the summer and fall, we get a CSA. It stands for Community Supported Agriculture, which you probably still don't know what it means. It's really just a subscription service with a local farm, and you get seasonal fruits and vegetables. I find out the week before what I'm getting. The balancing act, if I have too many freezer meals ready, then I don't use all the vegetables. But if I don't plan ahead for what I'm doing at all, that's a mess too. I just am not that in the mood to put together a whole bunch of freezer meals. I don't know what it is. And I've been feeling really blocked about it and I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to get something in place to make meal planning run smoothly once school and activities all get started. What broke me out of my funk was kind of weird. I don't know why it had this effect. You know how sometimes when you just walk away from a problem, a solution kind of jumps out at you. So my kids have been with their dad for two weeks. My daughter was away for eight weeks before that. So we're kind of out of the routine and there's always, for me, talk about the adjustment period with the kids going back and forth from one parent to another. There's also an adjustment period for the parents. And maybe that was part of my dread about putting together a whole big system. And then, you know, I feel like I haven't seen my daughter in so long. Kind of need to just reconnect with everybody and we need to find our rhythm again. And then a lot of things will fall into place in a different way. But so food is a big thing getting the meals planned for the week she gets back. And I happened to get a coupon from one of those meal kit delivery services that I've tried before called Terrace Kitchen. When I tried them about a year ago, they just didn't have the best options for vegetarian meals. They just didn't have enough protein in them was the main thing. Got a little email coupon for $35 off my next order from them. I will show you the box once it comes. What I love about them is the food is a lot farther along in the prep than when you order from like, I haven't done Blue Apron, but I've done Green Chef, which is tasty. HelloFresh will like send you an eggplant, right? Tara's Kitchen's meals are more like, you already have everything chopped up, you're just gonna mix it together, saute it, whatever you're doing. And it does not take a ton of time to get the food on the table, very easy. I also love that they have like reusable packaging. I'll definitely show you that in my video. But anyway, kind of taking the pressure off for the first week the kids get home. Sometimes, you know, when you walk away from a problem, then a solution kind of comes into your mind. And it occurs to me, kind of the way that my daughter and I are eating has been evolving. So these heavy kind of freezer meals, vegetarian freezer meals, you pretty much talk about casseroles, stews. I will enjoy those more in the winter months, but right now, especially over the summer, 
and it's still pretty warm here through October. So I decided to schedule things a little bit differently. And I came up with a sort of a two week template. The kids schedule of when they're with me and when they're with their dad varies from one week to the next. So I made myself a little template, which I'll walk you through. And once I had the idea to set it up this way, I got that like great, if you're a creative person, you know this, I got that great like itchy brain, I wanna do this kind of feeling. So that was great to have that feeling back of like, I want to do this meal planning. It's not pulling teeth. Here's a close up of the template I made. So every Monday, I'll have some kind of a green salad. A lot of times I like to put something hot on the green salad if we're having one for dinner. Sometimes soft boiled eggs actually, or roasted vegetables, or just something. A little something hot I find makes it feel much more substantial, like a real dinner. Or the exact plans for these will depend on which vegetables are coming in the CSA. Tuesdays, the kids will always be with dad, with their dad. Wednesday, something totally new for me. We're going to try Buddha bowls. They've been trendy for a while and I've been curious if they would work for us. If the kids are not with their dad, dad for the weekend, they have dinner with him on Thursday. If they're going to be with him on the weekend, we've been doing breakfast for dinner on Thursdays. And exactly what that is varies, but not a whole lot. Whether it's pancakes or waffles, you know, doesn't make a big difference. The Fridays that the kids are with me are always pizza night. I'll see how long we last with this, but I'm going to do some kind of a quiche or other egg dish, usually featuring the CSA vegetables, on the Saturdays when the kids are with me. And then on Sundays, we'll either have a meal from what I already have in the pantry or the freezer. I really have already have lots of things to fill in with there. It'll always be pretty simple on Sunday night. My plan is to stick with this formula I'm thinking through November. I have to see exactly when the CSA stops. I hope I've encouraged you to stay flexible when you get discouraged about meal planning. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe below. I'd love to hear in the comments how you work yourself out of a slump. See you tomorrow.